So if this bill does go ahead, TikTok's Chinese owners would have roughly five months to sell it. But who is going to buy it? Well, one prominent Canadian who tossed his name in the ring is Kevin O'Leary. The man known as Mr. Wonderful joins me now from Miami Beach. So, uh, Kevin, good to see you. Listen, before we, we talk about your interest in buying TikTok, I want to get your take on the bill that could potentially ban it. Do you think this is the right move? Well, it's unprecedented. Um, this company's been in this narrative since 2020 uh, regarding national security and the leakage of U.S. citizens' data to the Chinese government, and it's finally come to a head. I mean, it's... It has been danced around before, but not like this. And it's, I believe, unprecedented that a bill would go to Congress specifically targeting a foreign company. And that's exactly what this is on, on such a, an issue such as national security. So this time is different, no question about it. And now the company is being put into play. Why are you the guy to buy it? Uh, and, and why do you think you can save TikTok? Well, I think TikTok should be saved because in, in, in across my portfolio of small businesses in North America, this is the number one platform for advertising. Over 5 million small businesses use this. And it's a form of communication that's proved very effective in customer acquisition and the sales of goods and services. And so if all that has to happen is it has to be changed in terms of who owns it, go to a American owner, uh, that's that's something that can happen, but it's a complicated transaction right now because there's several things we don't know, and we'll get some clearance from, hopefully, Congress in the next few days. Many calls have gone out to many congressmen and women, I'm included in that list, obviously, to try and clarify the first issue. Are we going to be allowed to leave any remnant ownership with the Chinese at all, mm. or are they requiring 100% that it be sold to an American entity. And, and that's question number one. And, you know, that's, that's very difficult because if you think about how, who owns companies like Google and who owns Meta and who owns Microsoft, it, it, those are international owners. Sovereign wealth companies own those companies. And so are you going to make a difference just for this one? And we need to know the answer to that. And that's not clear. We need, we need some guidance on how we're going to do this valuation. Do, do you think, though, if some shares remain uh, with China, uh, with, with ByteDance, that is, that that would compromise the app? No, not at all. The way this would work is we would say, look, are you going to allow the Chinese, and there's precedent for this because there's American companies in China that have ownership positions in Chinese companies. And so maybe Congress wants to think that through and say, all right, we'll throw a bone to the Chinese and let, leave them with 20, 25 percent non-voting shares perhaps, non-control shares, they can't participate in the management of the company. And, and so the buyer, including me, would have to guarantee that the servers are now nexus in the United States. The code was rewritten to scrape out the back door to China. Everybody knows that data leaks off TikTok. I mean, I have a TikTok phone. I have two phones. This is a crippled phone that has TikTok on it because I have to monitor my advertising. And this is my real phone. Uh, so I would never put Tic Tac on this. Everybody knows the Chinese is monitoring, and I don't want them to see my data, nor does anybody. And so I have no problem with the Chinese people. I respect what they've done over the millennia in terms of science and culture, but I don't trust the Chinese government and apparently either this Congress. And so that's the issue we're trying to solve for. And so I'd have to return all of this to American soil, American board, American CEO, American governance, and work directly with national security to prove that there was no leakage in the code. And so that's a, a pretty tall task. And what I've suggested we do in this process is to create a subcommittee, two Republicans, two Democrats, from the original committee that formed this bill and got it passed, at least in, in the House, and, and that they give us some governance in terms of how we're going to proceed. So I could go to them and say, look, I'm proposing this structure and ownership, yes or no. Right. And that kind of thing, because only, you've only got 180 days. That's practically nothing to do a transaction this size. So uh, would you be willing to buy it as a, a whole without some shares, uh, you know, being foreign? No, no, I'll buy the, I'll, You'll buy the I'll whole buy 100% of it. I mean, the, the whole point is you syndicate a transaction like this. Whatever, whatever it was worth yesterday, it's worth 50 to 80% less today. This company is going to end up TikTok, a very heavily regulated company. And what you don't know is how it's going to change the business model. 
So we don't know that. We do know that it's going to be, have to be sold. And here's your risk if you own it now, because there's many American companies, private equity firms, that own it through ownership in, in ByteDance. What could happen, and this is also an unknown, is the Chinese government may say, we don't care what you want, United States. If you won't let us operate it as it's owned right now, we'll just shut it down. And, there, and then if you're an owner of ByteDance, you just evaporated. The last mark to market was something on like $170 billion. Just went up in smoke. And so that's another risk. There's so many variables on this deal. It's, it's, it, this is a really hairy, complicated deal, including having to walk up and down the halls of Congress. I'm very fortunate there because I'm known as an advocate for small business. So I deal with senators and governors on both sides, I mean, red and blue. Everybody likes small business. I'm not a political junkie in any way. I'm a policy wonk. And so I care about policy on small business, and they know that. So I'm able to have these narratives on off-the-record basis with many senators and governors. And I'm doing that starting tomorrow to ask that first question, any remnant left to China, yes or no? Give me guidance there, because that changes the purchase price. Yep. If I have to buy every single share, that's a huge transaction. Something north of 50 billion, 60 billion, 70 billion of debt and equity. I have to go yeah. to sovereign wealth to gather that. Well, it is. Uh, it, it's a deal that you want to get done. I'm not sure it's a deal that um, you know we, we know is even possible at this point. But appreciate you coming on and giving us your pitch, Kevin O'Leary, joining us from Miami Beach.